Today is a flight that I've really been looking forward to. Today I'm flying with South African Airways on board their Airbus A340-600 on a domestic flight from here in Cape Town up to Johannesburg. Let's head inside and let's take the short flight up to Joburg. Before we start today I'd just like to say a big thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. More about their excellent VPN service later in the video. Cape Town Airport's a pretty nice airport to fly from. It's really spacious and didn't feel crowded at all. Once airside there's some great views of the ramp activity. I headed for the South African Airways lounge to wait for my flight. The lounge is pretty smart with loads of nice places to sit quietly. It also has some cracking views across the apron. Now I wouldn't say that this lounge is the best airport lounge in the world in terms of the food or anything like that, but um, just look at this view. This is the A340-600 that will take me up to Johannesburg today. It's been with South African since brand new in 2003, making her 16 years old when I flew on her. With such great views I went live on my Facebook page for an hour or so. If you don't follow me on Facebook already, please do so, you'll also get the full takeoff and landing videos from all of my flights on there as well. I was so engrossed in my live video I suddenly noticed passengers walking down the air bridge into the A340 meaning I'd better get a move on. Luckily for me the gate was just downstairs so it wasn't too far to walk. The business class cabin on the South African A340-600 is in a 222 configuration. It does have a very early 2000s feel about it and the seats reminded me of my old Nokia 3310, blue with silver trimmings. I just wondered if I could play Snake on the in-flight entertainment. As I waited to push back I noticed this IL-76 a long way from home being towed behind me. Notice how it's being towed with all the doors wide open. This aircraft operates expeditions to Antarctica from Cape Town. Pretty soon we pushed back in tandem with this Ethiopian 777 alongside us pushing back for Addis Ababa. Don't forget to check out my Ethiopian video if you've not done so already. Also on the ramp today was the exact Edelweiss A340 that I took recently from Buenos Aires to Zurich. Again don't forget to check out that video too. Pretty soon it was time to line up and get on our way to Joburg. I was surprised by just how powerful the A340-600 is compared to its older brother the A340-300. Just look at how we power away from Cape Town. As 
we rocket away from Cape Town, let's take a look at our route today. We flew on an almost direct track northeast from Cape Town to Johannesburg, climbing to a cruising altitude of 39,000 feet. Flight time today was 1 hour and 33 minutes. As much as the seats are pretty retro, they're not too bad comfort wise. There's plenty of room, although I'm not quite sure how they match up to the competition on the longer routes. There's plenty of power and seat positions to choose from, and the seat not only lies flat but also has a massage function as well. It's got a nice privacy divider between the two seats, but it does however suffer from the usual problem of getting stuck in your window seat while your seatmates got their seat in the bed position. There's a small drinks table on the left and a full table on the right. The TV screen pops out from the armrest, but it wasn't working on today's flight. There was soon a meal service which I thought was pretty nice for such a short flight. It was a beef fillet with beans which was more than adequate for a 90 minute ride. It also came with a full bar service, I opted for a delicious glass of South African white that I've so far been unable to find anywhere else. The views from 39,000 feet over the plains of South Africa were stunning. It's very much like flying over the Sahara or the outback of Australia. As we headed further north, the weather below us took a turn for the worse, as Johannesburg was suffering some heavy rainstorms. We descended over Joburg and emerged into a rainy day under the clouds. It surprised me that my seatmate wasn't asked to put his bed into the upright position for landing. He stayed in the lie flat position until we were taxiing to the gate. I just wondered how I'd have got out had we had any issues on landing. We touched down in a cloud of spray on runway 3 right at El Tambo. My flight from Cape Town today cost me £231 or about $305. US dollars. This was for a distance of 790 miles, giving a cost per mile of 29 pence. Overall I really enjoyed my ride on the A340-600. It's always great to get a wide body on such a short flight, but I'm not sure if I'd be saying the same on a long haul flight. That said though, the competition on flights to South Africa is all fairly similar in terms of the hard product, with only airlines such as Emirates, Rwanda or maybe BA offering much of an improvement. That said, the crew were amazing, the service was wonderful and the meal was great. South Africa are having a lot of financial difficulties right now, which is a real shame. Given a little bit more investment, I think they could have a fantastic product here, and I can't wait to try them again soon. Today's video is brought to you by Surfshark. They're a VPN provider who allow you to secure your internet access wherever you may be. When you're using public Wi-Fi in hotels and airports, you need to encrypt your data. It's really easy to access other people's data if they're on the same open network as you, so you're always better to be on the safe side and use a VPN to protect your data. VPN also allows you to access content while you're travelling abroad. For instance, you'd usually be blocked from accessing things like Netflix or Amazon Prime from your home country while you're away. A VPN allows you to connect just like you're already at home, meaning you never miss an episode of your favourite show. Finally, a VPN helps you to avoid internet censorship. Censorship is a huge pain in the backside in some countries. In many countries you're blocked from getting on Google, Facebook, Instagram and other websites, even your favourite YouTuber is blocked in China. A VPN lets you simply connect in as though you're already in a different country and access the internet just like at home. 
Surf Sharks available as an app for Android, iOS, Windows and macOS, as well as browser extensions for Chrome and Firefox. If you're a more technical user, you can even configure your router to protect your entire network with Surfshark. If you use a link down below with promo code Noel Phillips, you'll get an 83% discount off a membership with Surfshark and three extra months for free. So then back here at OR Tambo International in Joburg. Not a bad flight over with South African. They weren't the best by a long stretch, but they certainly weren't the worst. Let me know what you think to South African Airways down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you've not already. In the meantime, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.